Yo, yeah, welcome to the Tippy Toe Podcast. Oh man, we got a special guest tonight. Who my guest is, my dog? Cool cake, cool daddy cake, you heard me? Y'all Downtown. What, okay then. Five six one shit, y'all know what it West is. West Norm, goddamn me. God damn, let's take it on bike though. Yes, Lord. Oh, man. we letting this bitch ain't no so much to talk about. Right <laughs> let, 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 let's bring it like where, where you from, my dog? I'm from West Palm Beach, downtown. West Palm Beach, Tamman Avenue. I'm from Sixth Street, Cisco. And how it was, and how it was raising over there. Let's bring it down, dog. Kid days, dog. Well, shit. Originally, I'm from I'm from the Westwood. That's mm-hmm. downtown too. That's one of that's one of the hoods down there. Mm-hmm. Shit, as a kid, you already know. I I looked up to the big dogs. I'm a product of my environment. You know how it go. Okay, then. And if you know where I'm from, you know what I'm talking about. And what about yeah. um in the in household? Both parents? Nah, just mama. Just mama? Yeah, just mama. It was a bunch of us. And you let me know brothers, sisters, let us know how Brothers, you sisters, yeah. Mm-hmm. And what about school? Did you fuck with school? Did you feel me? Class clown? Let us know about that. No, I mean shit. When I was younger, you feel me, I was I was all about that learning shit. I had good grades and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I was just bad as hell, bro. I'm from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then. I had a whole bunch of brothers. I'm the, I'm the youngest one out of all my brothers. You feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's who I looked up to my whole life, you feel me? I was smart in school and shit, but when I got older, you know what I'm saying, I went to playing out there in the streets like everybody else did from around my way. Did you play sports growing up? All the sports. Okay, then. And what was your favorite Beast. sport? Shit. My favorite port, oh, my favorite sport probably was probably was baseball, dog. Oh yeah, baseball. Yeah, I play basketball and I play football. I was a beast in basketball. My brother was a basketball star. You hear me? Okay. Yeah. That shit was in my veins. I already knew how to play basketball. I ain't even had to learn that shit. What it was it? like riding a bike. Oh, so so what it was about baseball was because it, it was challenging. What it was? I don't mm-hmm. know. It was just something. It was just something me and my brother them did. Me and my cousin. We was into that shit real, real heavy. Okay, then. Yeah. But, like, by the time I got in, like, sixth grade, bro, I was already in the streets, bro. But sixth grade? Yeah, bro, like. God, that early like that, though. Hell, yeah. And let us know how the area was growing up, your your area, and, and what street that was for the people that don't know. Oh, we know. They want to know. Oh, shit, bro. Around that time, I was on Wins Ave, thugging. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I got one of my big dogs in the room right now. You feel me? He can tell you we had it going on. Shit, we was on Wednesday. We had the whole neighborhood popping. And at that I'm time, I'm talking about back in the G. I was going to Roosevelt Middle School. And at that time, was there no music yet? Nah, we used to be bullshitting around, freestyling each other and shit. We always had a special spot for that music. You feel me? I was a big, a big Tupac fan. You feel me? Okay, 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 okay. And that No Limit shit had done came around. You already know. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, 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 what, at what age you started dabbling in freestyling and stuff like that? Shit. Probably like around like 11, 12. That early was it? Yeah, we used to always bullshit around with the music. But I ain't, I ain't start getting serious into it till, till um, Smooth start doing his thing. Mm-hmm. Big up to my nigga Suave Smooth. And what? um, shit, we had done linked up. Around the time I had probably like just had got in high school or some shit. Okay, okay. What it was about Suave mm-hmm. Smooth, y'all hooked up? Shit, you know me and Suave Smooth from the same hood. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was always love back then and everything. I've been knowing bro all my life, but he was doing his thing. You feel me? Headquarter Records was just starting to pop off, you feel me? And shit, we hollered at his big brother and we had done... Shit, we had done got signed to Headquarter Records. Okay, then. And, before, he- and before Headquarters, like... What was your first song in the hood? You know, everybody was feeling like, okay, damn, cool could do this shit right here. Kate got this motherfucker. Never had a song. Smooth him, the first nigga gave me a chance. Oh, never had a song. Okay, for sure. The first song I re- ever recorded in my life, uh, Smooth featured me on his first on his first album. It's called Palm Beach County. Mm-hmm. I'm from Palm Beach County. That's where I'm from. And so that way everybody got to know down. Cool K right there. That was my first song right there. And ever since then, I took off. And what about that song you got? Um, I don't know if it's your song, but like, um, I think it is your song featuring, who is it? Um, you just going in on that bitch on the back of the truck. 
Oh, well, that's that, um, that KK. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? That's that KK. Like, at what point that was at that time? Shit, we that Florida, was like, nigga, we get KK. That was like round 2007. I'm talking about in your, in, in your career, though. What, what point that was at in your career, though? Oh, shit. I had done. I had That's take off season right home. there. That was where you, you already took off right there. Yeah, I was. I was actually, I was actually grinding and doing my thing. Cause, um, me and Smoothin was doing our thing for a minute. You know what I'm saying? We had done, went through some other shit, and you know what I mean. Everybody separated and everything. Mm-hmm. And shit, it was time for me to take off. I went to fuck it with my dog, um, T. Reed, for one stop entertainment. And we went to making moves with other niggas and shit, you feel me? And I was still in the lab because I was always about making music, you feel mm-hmm. me? It's well, just that I was in the streets, you feel even, me? Even though you was so much yeah. in the street, though, how come them lyrics was off the chain like that, though, dog? Like, up to date, like, right now type shit when you listen to them things. Bro, that's how it is. Like, shit. To be honest, bro, I don't think it's a nigga out there that sound like me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I think I got my own thing going. I don't just be talking, you feel me? A nigga really be out there doing that. A nigga really live like that. You feel me? All that studio gangster shit. A nigga ain't really for that. And you feel me? Even though this might be in the future, but they want to know what. It, all right. What? What that? That thing, shit thorough. Where that, where that thing came from? For real, nigga. Okay then. Yeah. You know I mean? Uh huh. Well, do you remember? You remember your first? I almost track did that shit. I had too much smoke in my lungs. Your dick. <laughs> you, you remember your first time putting that on the track? Man, tell you the truth. <coughs> I don't remember the first time I did it, but my nigga, my nigga Craig used to always come to the, to the studio with us. We used to be dropping shit way back in the G, my nigga from Hot West, and he used to be yelling that shit like crazy, you hear me? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about, you can feel it all in your soul, you hear me? Yeah, my nigga, so a nigga made that shit like a, like a whole movement. Like, I screen that shit on every song, you feel okay, me? Then. My dog got, got some time, you feel me? And, yo. And, and let's talk we about... We started that shit way back then. <laughs> like that shit, uh, yeah, man. That shit was going crazy on every track, though. Yeah. <laughs> and let's talk about... um, And we used to see a lot in them DVDs. What, like, what, 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 what what's going on with that? How, how big you was with... Tell you the truth. I mean, I know Ray Lowe and Dennis and all them boys, you feel me? And... Them was our people, them, you feel me? Tell you the truth, uh, shit, when I really started doing my own thing, when it came to that music, Ray Lodum was behind me like 100%. Mm-hmm. Like to the point where people thought I was actually signed to them damn dogs or some I shit. I think they even, the damn dog shot a video for you too. Man, plenty of them. Them boys did a whole bunch of shit for me. Them boys used to give me videos, mm-hmm. radio play, shows. What, you know, they what got was it about you that club. made them, you know, want to do that for you? Because other artists, you can't even get in. You know, what it was about it you? It was though. the music, bro. Was I, was the only, I was the only nigga from my, my way really putting on, like, for downtown. Mm. Besides Suave Smooth. You know, Suave Smooth, he was doing his thing. Mm-hmm. But bro was gone. He was, like, on tour all the time and doing his thing and shit. You feel me? I'm in the streets with it. Mm-hmm. And, and I kept that shit alive. I'm talking about a real gangster. And I step in the club and they playing my songs. They let me and my folk in free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were you shocked about that? That though, like how they were just, how you just, were just taking over the streets early like that? No, nah, I mean I seen the change, but you know a nigga was out there really getting money for real, mm-hmm. and I touched a bunch of money, so I felt, I felt like it came with, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we used to look at the videos one minute, you know, it's like you be missing. We watching your videos, free cool cake, free food. Was it like a lot of, a lot of in and out? Yeah, man, I've been going to jail ever since I was legit, bro. I ain't even finna lie. Mm-hmm. What, what, what was it that you never just say, fuck that, I'm gonna just do straight music? I don't know, bro. It was like, like that Palm Beach that we gotta get our own, we gotta get that bag to that bag. It wasn't that, it was just. To be honest, bro, you feel me? Every time I felt like I was doing. Real good with this shit. Mm-hmm. I end up falling into some other shit. Because I got a life, you feel me? Right. And I wasn't living like no motherfucking saint. You heard me? So it was like I had opportunities and all, you feel me? I done had plenty of opportunities. I done had big bags and blew it. You feel me? And 
Shit, that's how it go. Shit. And let's take us there, though. How it was around. I was the- always getting fucked up going to jail. Mm-hmm. Always, bro. So, 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 were you around for them DVD eras, even though we used to see you in and out, though? You remember the city was lit like that? They said that was the time the Palm Beach was off the chain around that time. Yeah. Hell what yeah, can you remember? Let us know what can you remember. Like, let us know some, you feel me? Shit. Tell you the truth, bro, that shit was off the chain for real. Mm-hmm. You feel like it that done changed from, them, I mean, from yeah, back yeah, then? It done changed. I mean, it's always, it was the same way when I was just legit, you feel me? I used to watch the old niggas go through it, you feel me? And a lot of niggas ain't here no more. Mm-hmm. A lot of niggas in the chain gun. You feel me? So it was the same thing. It was just different ways, you feel me? And like, how it is now. It's the same shit going on, but it's just the new era. You feel me? I'm a lot older now, you feel me? Even though you're a lot older, though, you shot those that, like, when you go on YouTube, you see your video still, the view still moving up? Or you don't pay attention to that, though? Nah, I really don't. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't no... I like to I like to scroll through social media and shit because mm-hmm. I don't be having nothing to do. Okay, then. Yeah. But I don't really watch YouTube or none of that shit. Like, you feel me? There's a couple of features, like, the people, like, like you be doing features with people, people just be commenting just like it's your song. They're not even talking about the person's song. They just be talking about, oh, yeah, bad boy, cool cake. Snap on that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I be seeing a lot of the love mm-hmm. and shit. Yeah, I even respond sometimes, you feel me? Let's talk about that. What's I don't know you remember that. What's his name that um it was a feature you jumped on talking about um right was white girl got my hands strong. I'm whipping work. Yeah. Let me know how that came about. Oh man, I don't see it on YouTube. I can't find it no more for some reason. I don't know. I'm like, that god damn what they done delete this shit? I don't know, but I um how, let me know what vibe you on when you came on that bit, cause you listen. came on that with talking about crazy glue and all boy. Hey, I'm telling you, listen. Okay then. Hey. <laughs> okay then. So um that was Maniac Black, too. Shout out to Maniac Black. Listen, my dog had done stuck to me. Rest in peace, Big Ooga. My dog, Big Ooga, stuck to me and told me, dog, you feel me? Him and the homie, them, they were rapping and doing something with another nigga. Mm-hmm. Had a little studio and shit. Okay, then. We went to the nigga studio and shit, you whatever, woo woo. He had done came up with the little song or whatever, you feel mm-hmm. me? And it was me and my brother. I swear to God, bro, it was like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> We went straight to the liquor store and got a big bottle of Remy, bro. I swear I remember this shit like it was yesterday. You feel me? And we sat in the yo, my nigga, and we wrote that bitch. You wrote that bitch. Nigga ain't freestyle. You wrote that bitch. I wrote that bitch. That bitch, there's a snapper, though. Yeah. You know he's going to snap on that thing like that? I'm saying what the screw's saying, because that bitch had some views when I was checking last time. But it's just gone now. I don't know what's going on. I mean, tell you the truth, that was like one of the last tracks I had dropped before I went to the chain game. Mm. Um, when we did the video, I had my hair cut. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We what? did that like a week before I went in. <laughs> there was another big feature, dog. Y'all was on the roof, though, dog. You like, bitch, you was on that bitch saying, bitch, all right, we ain't, they, nigga, like, we ain't, we ain't leaving the corner store till we set a real, real hustler, nigga. You just, damn, what's that song, though? It was a nigga with long hair, dog. This goes out to the, man, you just ate that bitch out, dog. You got so much video. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, um... Downtown, you feel me? Let me Downtown, see. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying. You had a, it was damn it, dog. There's a long hair nigga on that bitch. Damn it, dog. What the, how that, what's the name of it? I'm looking for that, but I can't find it. You had so much hits, though, dog. Yeah, yeah, bro. I've been doing my thing for a little minute, bro. You feel me? How it feel, are, though, dog? Like, you know, to be, you know, one of them from Palm Beach legends, though. Shit, bro. I feel the same, my nigga. I always knew I was going to do something. Tell you the truth, I thought I was going to be able to do more. You know what I'm saying? But shit, I'm back out here now, though. Okay, you man. feel me? You we just, still pushing. We still moving. What was? Nah, I've been, I've been home for a little minute, but I was just on house arrest for two years. You feel okay, me? Ain't nobody really seen me. Okay, then. So I'm saying, what what can they be looking at for now, though? I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> shit, I got this um that graveyard music out right now. Okay, then. Graveyard music. What's on that, that bitch on all streaming platforms? You heard me? Let me see that bitch. Uh, yeah. Shit, and Gas House Music, you already know what it is. Gas House, we up and running right now. I got a new um, mixtape coming out called House Arrest. House Arrest? Oh, you yeah. That that when, what you dropped it when you was on House Arrest? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what Real you, deal. Any features on that thing? Tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah. My nigga Soldier D on that bitch, for sure. He definitely on there. Um... Shit, Tabo, Hollywood Hat, 
I don't even know who all. I don't even. We ain't even put the motherfucker together yet. Okay, then. We just got a bunch of tracks, my nigga. You feel me? We've been working. We just been working, working, and we still working. And hey, let me know how you still stay. We gonna put that together, and we shit, gonna though. have shit in the cut, and we gonna keep working. You know what I'm talking about? But why them legs still stay fluent though? Still on point though, though. Cause a nigga really out there, you feel my angels rapping. I'm telling the nigga how it is. I'm telling you that shit thorough. Okay then. For real. Mm-hmm. I'm from downtown, man. What's known? And, and they wanted to know too. Me? You know, R.P. That boy Spro. Do, do you have a relationship with Spro? R.P. My nigga Spro. That's my nigga. That's my let brother. Let us know. Let us know. How did you meet Spro? Man, I'm <laughs> shit. Man, Spro from the same hood. Spro from Pleasant City. We all from downtown. Mm-hmm. I met Spro from like from around the neighborhood and from school. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I've been knowing Spro since like. Shit, like summer camp and shit. Um, Pleasant City mm-hmm. at the center, you feel me? And shit, we went to Roosevelt together, and then then my dog moved down up to the hood. He moved on six, you feel me? Okay, then. My nigga really from Pleasant City. He from downtown. Spore what about music? Nigga. Did you ever drop any music together? Hell yeah. Man, me, Spro, and Van Damme used to sit in my mama house, man, and play around and fuck with the computer and make music in the closet, bro. Okay, then. Making little beats off Fruity Loops that we made ourselves, bro. Okay, then. That's how this shit started, like, Mm -hmm. for real. And you talk about Van Damme. (laughs) Let me know your relationship with Van Damme. That's my brother. Mm -hmm. (laughs) How y'all came about? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How y'all came about? How 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 y'all met up? Man, when... We from the Westwood. We are from the Westwood. We are from the same hood. Mm-hmm. My mama stayed right around the corner from Van Damme, mama. Okay, Me and yeah. Van Damme used to be around each other. We were like this. Okay, then. You know, I'm a lot older than them boys. Mm-hmm. So even when when I was younger, you know it's different. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm 18 and a little nigga like 14, 15. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big you difference. get what I'm saying? Big difference. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So it was my little dog. And when we was jitter boys. I'm talking about kids. Were well, they shocked how you was doing it in the music, though? Van Damme well, used to always, he used to always um, stuck to me and be like, bro, I want you to get me on the song with Suave Smooth. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I was with headquarters, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then. And I used to, <laughs> I, I, was talking, to I, I think you got one at a million, I think, though. Is it almost at a million or over a million, though? Hell yeah, I got one over, over a million. million. That's what I'm saying, over a million. And That's what I'm thinking, yeah. You know, I'm high right now. Yeah, you know. Because you got one mean, almost at a million, too. I'm like, I think that boy. And yeah. I was just. How you feel, though, dog? You feel me? Shit just be doing numbers, dog. You feel me? Because there ain't no regular shit right there, though, dog. <laughs> feel ain't good. Act like it's no I ain't regular. benefit off it. You know what I'm saying? What you want? Damn, why? What would you say that, though? The label? Situation? Nah, nah. I, I wasn't even, like, I wasn't even the one posting the shit or none of that. Who, 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 who was handling the networking at that time? I don't know. Shit. So you just studio going to the studio, dropping them hits, dropping videos. Tell you the truth, when I dropped the little videos or whatever, you know what I'm saying, Raylo and Dennis, you know what I'm saying, them boys, they was the ones doing videos for me and shit. This, I'm talking about like back in the days and stuff, mm-hmm. that shit was going viral. This one, that shit first came about, like social media wasn't mm-hmm. even around. Yeah, yeah. Y'all was viral before viral came right, out. Right, viral before viral came mm-hmm. out, for real. And that shit was just getting posted. But my ha- my hands wasn't in none of that shit, bro. And what about the and labels? Were they shit. calling though? Was the labels calling at that time? Or were you in and I out? Had, or you in and out too fast? No, nah, no, nah, I had some shit pop off. You mm-hmm. feel me? You know, with with headquarters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had that shit go on, and then I had some other shit go on with a couple other labels. Niggas was hollering and shit. Shit, we had a couple people holler when I was fucking with T. Reed, you feel me? Even though you were doing it, it for the city, though, you shot that your music left left Palm Beach? Hell yeah. Man, I got social media, bro. Mm-hmm. I have people hitting me up from other countries sometimes, mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. Telling me they love my shit, bro. Facts. On some real nigga shit. Niggas I don't even know. Niggas be inboxing me sometimes because I ain't got a link to my little to my little Facebook or some shit. Mm-hmm. And just give me love on my music. And how you with the social media now? You you on the social media thing now? I don't even really, I don't, I don't do no posting, bro. I ain't even going to lie. You don't do no posting? No, I might 
scroll through that shit. Mm-hmm. But if I post something, bro, I don't, I don't know. I might be feeling myself or something one day. Shit, drop something on that bitch. <laughs> I don't do no posting, though, dog. Damn it, dog. Dog, why we talking? I'm still thinking about that same song. This, the, 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 what you say? Big block with the... Big block that nigga say, man, we ain't serving nothing at this corner store, nigga. That's how you serve a soldier. He said, that's how you serve a nigga. Chew hustle. Chew, damn it, man. <laughs> I, 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 you don't remember the song, though. You done drive so much. I don't know which one you talking about. It was a feature, dog. Y'all was on top of the roof, dog. Like a skinny nigga with dreads. Long ass dreads, though. You feel me? I'm talking about dreads to like right here. You a slim nigga, dog. This goes out to the niggas. Damn it, dog. And y'all went back to back. He went first, then you went, then y'all went back to back. You got like a little blue um ja- a jacket with no, sh- no no shirt. Oh man, Duke Dollars, man. Yeah, Duke Dollars, yeah. Yeah, Duke I K. know what you're talking about. The big ass, they start like that. No, Duke yeah, Dollars. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh <laughs> man, let me know how you came up with that bitch there, dog. Cause you came man. on that. I used to just go straight. Even though he did his thing, I used to go straight to your park though. Like God damn. I tell you the truth, dog. You that remember, was you that was that my dog. Day? Y'all remember that? Please that say was that. My... We got to crank up one time, though. Man, listen. Oh, we got to crank up. Let's tell them the story. Then we got to crank up together, though. I'm trying to turn up. I don't even listen. I don't even know if I remember that verse. I know if I hear it, I can rap it. Damn it, though. You don't remember the intro? No, so I'm just trying to crank. To give me a jump start real quick. Okay, bro. you want me to turn up? No, that's I'm that. Too da- I'm too dull there. Oh, I need that. I need to get dog, lit. Cause you <laughs> ate that bitch. Up how you came on that bitch, dog. Yeah, man. Shit. I'm trying to damn I know it. what song you're talking about, but if I hear that bitch, I can rap along to it. Mm-hmm. That's just like with all my music. I know all my music, mm-hmm. you feel me? But And how y'all came about dropping that track, though? How he called you? Okay, it seemed like that time everybody, nigga, called, everybody wanted a cool cake verse at that time. It man, like. Duke, Duke had done hit me up, told me he had something he want me to get on. Mm-hmm. Hustling is a habit. That's the yeah, name of that motherfucker. Habit. Okay then. Hustling is a, a habit. 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 And I gotta have it. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Hustling is a habit. You gotta. You can't even write it. That's yeah. A, that's that killer right there. Shit. Part. He told. He, it was Duke song. Duke came to me, man. Told me he wanted me to get on one. You feel so me? Hook was done and all. We got together. And, yeah. Tell you the truth. My dog came prepared. He had that bitch laid out. It was laced already. Duke was one of the niggas from my hood that that I used to like listen to. Mm-hmm. He had a song called Highway to Hell, bro. I swear to God, I used to ride and listen to that bitch, boy. I'm on the highway. <laughs> mm-hmm. For real. So when he had done called me, you feel me, and told me he wanted to do something. I grew up with them boys. We used to like kick it back in the G since like elementary. We used to stay the night at each other's house and shit. Mm-mm-mm. That's that killer right But let's talk about that You feel me That cool cake bitch dog How, Let's bring it back dog. I'm taking it back though, Real quick dog That that you feel me That song there How it was I see pro and all in that bitch dog. How it was making that video dog That cake cake Yeah with T Like, like who was T dog It's like we ain't T dot That's my That's my cousin He that what He locked up right now Yeah he in a Cuz in the feds right now, he'll be home soon though. He been down for a little minute. I'm saying he was lyrical as hell too though. But yeah, that nigga came on that like some big bars. I'm talking about throw bite. What bro, bars was not even expected from niggas from the south though. Dog. Like y'all study that shit. Well, let me tell you something about that song. Listen, the man who did the video for that song, bro, he heard the song. Even bro. the video man snapped. He heard the song, bro. The man flew all the way down here from France, homie. Dog, he was from France. The man was from France. Like, the man flew all the way down from France, and he came down there. here, and we and we and we posted that shit on on like Facebook. It was like probably like MySpace and shit back then, man. <laughs> yeah, wasn't no wasn't no such thing as Facebook back then when I did that KK. Do you know that boy gonna drop like that? Do numbers like that? Man, listen, the whole hood showed up, bro. Mm-mm, we mm-mm, did that man. shit in the hood, nigga. I had on some Dickies, nigga, with a with a cool cake T-shirt on, nigga. Hell yeah, flexing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm cake, cake, cake. Man, man quit man, playing, bro. We was thugging for real. We was really in the street. You remember them bars? Yeah. Let me hear some. Let me hear you. for for the people, dog. God, it's not it, you feel me? for me too, but for the people too, though, dog. Cause you came on that big killer, dog. Yeah, that bit like oh, hold on. Bitch, I'm cake cake, a fish uncut cake. I get it. Them cupcakes, I bake them, grind and flip and flood the city. Why you caked up with them hoes? I be caked up with that call being 15. Mm-hmm. Chopper city for all them niggas that trying to get me cool cake. That me. Gator base if I squeeze. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God damn it, dog. I'm saying, though, at that point, yeah, what, yeah. Dog, what year that was that had them type of lyrics, though, dog? Bro, listen. Man, I was really out there back in the G, man. I don't even know where that shit came from. I probably was higher than the motherfucker when I wrote it, bro. Uh, yeah, we used to be rolling. Let me know how the grown niggas, was, you feel me, was taking it to a young nigga dropping big lyrics. I was legitimate. I know how the grown niggas was adapting to a young nigga dropping big bars like that. Cause you I know think I was like 21 when I made that shit. Oh, probably a little man. younger. Man, you went in on that mm. bit, though, dog. 21? Mm, 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 mm. I had shit from way back when. You know, I was doing this shit since I was a jitterbug. I was rapping with headquarters, bro, when I was in high school. And let's know about that. You did I ain't up dropping any Yeah, videos. man. My life changed when I got with them boys. We used to go to we used to go on tour. Nah. We used to travel the whole motherfucking nah, <laughs> man, we What's some places y'all been at? Shit, man, we done we done been damn near shit like Texas, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Alabama. Damn. Shit. You know, with Smooth, we went to Alabama. Um, Did a little show with Ball and G. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A-Ball and MJG. Man, quit playing, man. We was, I was with headquarters, you know what I'm saying? I was traveling the road, them boys. We used to always go to Tallahassee to TJ, DJ, my nigga, you feel me? Hang yeah. got. Damn. I remember Ross, bro. Mm -hmm. At TJ, DJ. Okay, then. Yeah. And how big Mike it was, Jones though, and them put, niggas like y'all put Palm Beach on. You feel me? Other people start screaming Palm Beach. Though how it felt though, y'all had other people screaming Palm Beach. Shit, bro, it felt good. Tell you the truth, when I first had done jumped into this shit, bro, it was about it was about us having fun. I ain't really getting into it until I started seeing myself making a little noise. You know what I'm saying? And then, like I say, bro, we was we was really doing the shit, and we was always serious about it. Cause when that flatline mafia shit came about, me and my brother them had done start doing that thing. Mm -hmm. We was for real, okay, but yeah. we was fucked up, cause we was in them streets. You feel mm -hmm. me? And that was the always our downfall, bro. We was always going through shit. Even though like a lot you, of shit, bro. Even the cookie, even though you were popping, getting hot. Well, what it was that had you like keep hustling still? Cause you know from listening to your music, you could tell. I already know my dog getting locked up for. We were trapping. What you said? Like what it was that kept, even though you was hot as you was hot like that, what kept you like saying I was still on the street mode? I mean, cause that music shit, that music shit wasn't really paying the bills. You know what I'm saying? We was doing that shit. You feel me? We was chasing, trying to get a bag out of it. So we was mm -hmm. investing a lot of money into, into it, okay, okay, and not getting nothing out of it. Like back in the G, it was the CD game. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the studio, pay for all the studio time, pay for all the beats. Copyright that shit, mix and master it, the whole nine. Then we got to press up flyers, Damn. CDs, all that shit. And then, guess what? We give them out. We ain't even selling. We, got we just them. creating the buzz. We, mm -hmm. we, and everybody know us. We used mm -hmm. to walk in the club, nigga. They used to yell our name, play our music. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Damn it, dog. So you feel like it's different this time we in now? Yeah, it's all, it's all digital now anyway. Everything on the computer and shit. The internet, where is that? You ain't finna facts, go to no facts, record facts. store and buy a nigga music mm -hmm. now, dude. Facts, facts. But let us know, dog. How big, how big, <laughs> dog. How big it was. Let's take it back, dog, to them DVDs, dog. How big it was, though. The, the, the DVDs help your music? You felt like you helped your rap career, too? I mean, in a, in a, in a kind of way it did, you feel me? But it's a lot of shit about that DVD that a lot of niggas don't know about, you feel me? Like, well, you know, tell like we, we know, let us know, because, you know, we know it was just off the chain. Yeah, that shit was off the chain, you know? Them cameras was out, too. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and them niggas weren't acting, but you know a nigga boot up for that camera a little piece. I, I, but I still swear, man, you talking about, nah, I say, bro, you show the camera. Nah, the nah, room. nah, but I'm going to keep it real with you. A nigga wasn't flexing, because mm -hmm. a nigga probably was out there bugging on them beans, and they was letting niggas know how they feel. Mm -hmm. And it ain't had nothing to do with them cameras, but you know them cameras out. So nigga, a nigga, nigga, yeah. nigga booting at that cam, mm -hmm. you feel me? And shit, we used to be out there jigging and everything. We was on the block for real. Doing that. And like, when you seen all that dumb shit going on on, on mm -hmm. that DVD, that shit went fake. <laughs> nigga was out there doing that shit. Well, oh, you shot that so, and how it went viral like that? Yeah, that shit, that shit went way, way bigger than we thought it was. <laughs> 
Um, how big, like, to, like, to me, like... Like, worldwide, bro, like... How did you know it went worldwide? Because I mean, at that time, was ain't no social media. How, like, what made you know it went worldwide at that time? How you know it went viral? Because at that time, was ain't no viral. I mean, that shit... That shit was just all over the state news, mm. CBS. Gangland came and hollered at us and all. We they walking they in they the store. We too? seen that shit. Hell yeah. What they talking about? It was on Gangland. About? Yeah. Come on now. Tip your toes. Quit playing. You was on Gangland. <laughs> I was on Gangland. What you talking about when you was on there? Let's nah, talk about when they came holler at you though. What, how they came? They said, but we want you on there. Come yeah, they, they hollered at me and I was, you know, I wasn't that. I wasn't really with the shit at first. Mm -hmm. But my big brother was You're in right. my chest. You You're feel like, me? Bro, you got to do it. My bro. big brother, Shell Shock, by the way. Free my nigga, Shell Shock. He'll be home man. in probably like 10 months. Mm -hmm. Bro caught eight years. He been gone for a minute. He'll be home in a minute, though. He, he told you to get on it? Yeah, that's the nigga who made me want to rap. Mm -hmm. That nigga a genius. Okay, then. Yeah. Like, what Like what was his, what, what was his reason to say get on it, dog? I don't know. He was on... I don't know. I think it was about some publicity shit. He okay, was on man. a power trip at mm -hmm. the time. You feel me? Yeah. So when you was on there, like when they hollered at you, what they were talking about? Like, like for you to do it? No, they just. You no know, tippy toes. We know. They was asking. Yeah, they was just asking about the hood, my nigga, and about where we from and how it was. You feel me? So I, yeah, I whatever whoop the boo. You feel mm -hmm. me? That check. How it was though when y'all <laughs> was on that shit. Let me know how it, did y'all did you did you up on them shows? Huh? Did you up the prices on them shows since you know you on TV and all? Nah, nah. Tell you the truth, I ain't really give a fuck about doing too many shows. I'm a street nigga. You feel me? I was releasing music and that shit was just promoting mm, itself, bro. I wasn't even promoting no, music. Nah, y'all. Yeah, you was. Man, my shit was getting out there regardless. You heard me? But not anybody could just do that though. How it no. felt though, dog? You just dropping shit, shit just going. Cause my <laughs> shit thorough, bro. To right now, I don't know if you like. I said you need to go check. You got new comments, bro. New comments. Now I'm talking about like old shit with new comments on there. Yeah. Like, oh, this shit here, boy. I put the whoop with the whoop. You feel me? Not anybody could do that. How you feel, though, though? You got, like, what they call it? Everlasting music. Hey, tell you the truth. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Because you know what? I got a lot of young niggas from around my way be getting on my ass nowadays. They be calling me old school. Mm -hmm. What's that emoji? And all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear, bro, them little niggas be in my ass. For real. You feel me? I've been doing this shit for a while, you feel me? I had done fell down, you feel me? Because I had went away. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the people that don't know, how much time you and went away, though? For people that don't know. Different time how much you, time I had did? Like, no, different times you went away. Let us know different part of your career. Because like I said, you know, we'll be on YouTube. Oh, shit. It'll be free cook. I'm like, oh, no, he locked up. And you come out, I man, when you came out with no hair, I'm like, no, that boy done chopped no. off. Like, yeah. you got to read that. Niggas be focused on your hair and all. Yeah, bro. For real, though? Mm hmm Man, that shit over with. <laughs> I can't do nothing with that shit. But, man, I was pretty much doing, like, little county bids until I had done caught that prison bid. Mm -hmm. You feel me? When I went away for the, I did for the eight months. When I went away for that little bit of time, it was just different when I came home. I had to get back on my feet. You feel me? I ain't had nothing. Mm -hmm. I had to get back right. And um when I did get back right, I wasn't really I wasn't really going to the studio and doing none of that shit. I was I was fucked up. Just doing all kind of crazy shit. I was just out here by myself. Mm -hmm. My brother and them were gone and shit. You lost the love for the music? No, I ain't lose the love for it. It's just that I wasn't doing it, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting fucked up on some other shit. And then I I had time. You feel me? Then I start to focus on it a little bit more. Right. And I dropped that motherfucking graveyard music. You heard me? For real. Because when I came home, I thought I was focused. But I wasn't focused. You feel me? I was trying to catch back up. For all that long time, mm -hmm. I was jumping into dumb shit, stupid relationships and all kind of dumb shit. So I was just lost. And when I had time and my nigga find myself, bitch, I had to <laughs> listen. Okay, then. This bitch here the truth. Okay, then. I swear. Well, let's talk about it. What's the man? You feel me? How you came up with that? You feel me? 
Man, listen, that you feel me? That was like off the top of the head type shit, like some shit that I just had done slid right off the top of my dome, you feel me? But I had done made sure it was rose. Oh, you freestyled that thing? It was, yeah, basically straight freestyle. That's the intro, you feel me? Mm -hmm. What about that Mr. Ben Frank? How we coming on that thing? Oh, man. What up? Mr. Benjamin Franklin, I call that. Oh yeah, I think you got a video. Yeah. Right? A video uh, that's on YouTube though. No, I ain't. I ain't it's not I ain't a video, got... but you got a vi it's on YouTube though. Yeah, you could probably. Yeah, you you could probably... Who be posting your shit? Mm -hmm. Hold on, my shit on all streaming platforms. Cause that one day, I think I'm talking about it just came like a couple when it came out. That's on YouTube. When right? I dropped, play y'all. Right. That's on YouTube though. I know for yeah. a fact. I'm like, okay, that boy back with it. Yeah, that's on YouTube. It's on everything. Okay, then. That bitch on I'm Pandora. Like, you know, you know, bitch on I'm Apple not, Music. Yeah, I'm I'm okay, then. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, he on all that. It's on all but That one that platform. you were coming on that bit hard, though. Let me know how you feel me. I felt like some old vibe on that thing. How you came on that bit like that? That Mr. Ben Frank? Okay, then. Tell you the truth. Shout out to my nigga Flair Diggity. We had done did some shit when we was like up the road. You feel me? Mm hmm. And we used to be vibing in the dorm together, me and my nigga used <laughs> We was partners, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's how that came about. You feel me? Locked up, up the road. And when you was up there, did no beat, no from? nothing. Just like tapping with, mm -hmm. with your hand in the pen, nigga. Okay, then. You know what I'm when about? you was up there, anybody recognize you? Like, damn. Fuck. Hell yeah, nigga. I did a concert while I was up the road, bro. No. Yeah. No, you ripped that bit. I know you ripped I did a concert, bro, while I was up the road, bro. What you perform? What you perform? I wrote a song. I wrote a song, bro. Time, time keeps slipping. I had a live band. Niggas end up playing the piano, playing oh. the drums, guitar, and everything. On my mama, bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know a lot of niggas gonna be seeing this, bro. Mm -hmm. If anybody was at Sago Ponds with me, my nigga, in like what that was like, probably like 2015. Okay, then. Y'all seen that? They know I, I ain't lying. <laughs> how you felt though, dog, performing in prison, dog, for the, for the, you feel me? Bro, that shit was crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Soon as I got, soon as I got up the road to South Florida, bro, niggas rushed me on the on the rec yard, bro. Like was trying to make me rap and shit. Like nah, dog. I swear to God, bro, on my mama, I had done got into a fight with some niggas though. They thought I was somebody else. Nah. Yeah, I had done fought a bunch of niggas. In there. Yeah, on the rec yard mm -hmm. in South Florida. So you ain't one of them artists that want to be, no want to be ducked off somewhere else. Oh, no, I'm in general population. You got me fucked all the okay, way up. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. I'm out duck. So you felt there was any people trying to test you because they know you feel what you used to rap about and all that gangster shit and, you know, they didn't see you on joke? No, because I don't be, I ain't no bully. I don't walk around with my chest out, okay, you feel then. me? Mm -hmm. And I don't choose faces either, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I respect everybody. We ain't got no problem if you ain't got no problem. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. So you just vibe No, nah, I ain't with that shit. But being but in I'm that with though, the shits though. Okay then. Yeah. Being in that yeah. though, dog, like even though like you vibe, did you ever see somebody just like shit go down in there? I seen all kind of shit. Cause they say it goes I seen down a nigga get stabbed in the face like four to seven times. In the face. At Martin. He made it? I was fresh out the box. No, that nigga ain't make it. That's what I'm saying. God damn. I seen niggas get raped and all kind of shit. You see niggas get raped. On my mama, nigga, I seen a nigga, I seen a nigga take something from a nigga. Hold on, put on the mic. Let's get on the mic right quick. Hey, on my mama, nigga. Take something. I seen a nigga take that. Let me get that. Man, I was at, I was at the ACI, man. Hey, fair though, how would you do it? Was it your second or your first time? Or was it, but I think you said you went out there one time. That's the only time I, I see that shit, but day. listen. And it was like when I first had, I got it done. It was wreck. It was wreck time, and they um, and you know everybody went out to wreck or whatever. Whoop the whoop. Mm -hmm. Nigga had no ask me, my nigga, did I want to go to wreck or whatever. Whoop the whoop. I would tell him, nigga, nah, I'm chill. You feel mm -hmm. me? Fall back. I ain't want to go out there in the sun. Mm -hmm. um, we already locked down. I had calendars to do. You feel okay me? then. So. It was a little flamboyant dude in the dorm, you feel me? Mm -hmm. He ain't go to... Excuse me, bro. Now you good. He ain't go to wreck either. Man, the man went over there, man. Stuffed the man head in the, in the motherfucking mat, oh, man. In the mat, oh. I was with Wheat. Tip driller, brother. 
on my mama. That day, see, I, bro, I seen a nigga get raped. Man, what was going through your mind seeing that shit? Nah, man, we ain't sit there and watch that shit. <coughs> we went into the motherfucking TV room, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we ain't know that shit. Okay, then just like, fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm a real nigga, bro. Nigga wasn't playing with me in the chain game. I done bumped and all in that shit. Okay, yeah. Not saying that that mean in the motherfucking thing, you feel me? Because mm-hmm. a nigga really living like that. And what I about don't do you, no you, fighting with no nigga, bro. And you, be, you, was, you was in the box too every time? Every, every time? I haven't been to the box, but it probably was my fault. And for you know people who don't know about the box, how it is in that box, dog? Is it like really true? Like you in there by yourself or you could be in there with somebody? Yeah, like a love. 8 by 12, 8 by 10 cell. Love. Bunk on the wall. Mm-hmm. Toilet in the sink, nigga, that's it. Four cones. Damn. Three showers a week, nigga. So Three meals did, a day. What you did to keep your mind focused in there while you was in there, dog? We used to fish, bro. A nigga had something to read. You feel me? Nigga used to slain them books to you. Okay. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So that what? was my thing. I I was reading like a motherfucker because I actually had a whole bunch of time in the box. One time while I was in there, I had a, I had a lot of time in the box. How long you had in the box? Shit, from like, I probably did like four months in that motherfucker. Damn. I hear you ain't got the right mind. You could go crazy in that bitch. Hey, man, I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> hey, listen, nigga. It was to the point where I ain't even give a fuck about going home no more, nigga. I wanted to get back on the pound. Just to go, yeah, you feel me? Just get out the box. Hell yeah, man. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Hell yeah. And what about the people, dog? They wanted to say, okay, they want a little freestyle. Do you mind? Acapella, or you duck dog, you good, you in your zone. You ain't got to if you want to, but it's just exclusive, you do. Oh, why you do me like that? <laughs> mm-hmm. But you ain't got to if you want to, but you know, we just love it. Hey, I love that. Why you put me on blast, ain't it? Well, they, 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 they was asking for it. Five, six, one shit. For it, huh? um, downtown shit, y'all know what it is. And nothing to why everybody at that time it was like downtown, like the Nike of Palm Beach at that time. Hmm? Downtown was that like the Nike of you know the like the hottest place to be from? Everybody want to represent for being from downtown. Say that again. Now? So like at that time when the DVDs was out, was downtown was the like, hottest place to be from. Shit, I don't know what the hottest place mean, but I mean, niggas from everywhere in Palm Beach was about that. I ain't gonna. No, not it's about that, but, but it's no, I mean, like, lit, like music wise. Was Bell Glade popping at that time or was it more downtown? Just with the Bell Glade, I don't know what Bell Glade was really doing. You ain't really. Do Tell it. you the truth, mm-hmm. I fuck with a lot of niggas from Bell Glade. Jack Boy, them all my niggas. Mm-hmm. I can name all of them, you heard me? Shit, but, um. Downtown was our hood, goddamn. You know, I, I fuck with niggas from the Raw too. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with niggas from Lake Ray from from whoever. But at that point, we had downtown popping. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Flatline Mafia had that shit popping. Cool Kate had that shit popping. Nah, fact. I fact. was doing my thing, nah, like fact. in the streets. You niggas that, knew me that from you, the streets. That what really got you hot in the music because you was already known in the streets. Yeah, I was always known in the streets. I was bad as fuck growing up. Anybody that know me know that. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I made a, I made a name in the street. Okay then. Hell yeah. And for, and for and, yeah, and, right. and beside this right here, what else can we be looking for? Cause you we ain't finished. What about about that life though? Ooh, that about that life. Mm-hmm. What we else when we drop that about that life? Man, listen. Shout out to my nigga Flair Diggity. That's what that is. Me and my nigga Flair, man, we was in the chain gang. You hear me? Okay. I'm telling you, we, that's another one that I had them put down, my nigga. You feel me? When I was locked up with my nigga. When we had them both touch bases, by the time both of us were home, you feel me? We had them did that same shit. We had them said we were going to do when we was in the cell, you heard me? Okay, then. We got in the yo and we put that bitch together. And I put that bitch on my mixtape, dog. You feel me? And that Damn bitch. Right. Yeah. 
Salute a soldier when you see one. I know a pussy nigga when I see one. I wouldn't want to be one. Get treated like a stepson to beat on. How come I never want to see you on that street to say you be on? Okay. I know you wasn't about that life. He ain't about it, you ain't about that life. He ain't about it, you ain't about it. Why you acting like you about that life? Mm-hmm. You ain't about it, you ain't about that life. Okay, you ain't about it with. Okay. All right. All right, all right. We're going. Yeah, he crunk already, it. though. What's up Listen. with that dope boy, though? Oh man, we taking it right down. That's a true story. Oh. That's a true story. You feel me? I had done gave him to him raw, like the way I had done got into it. You feel me? When I was sixteen years old, bro, I had done got my own little apartment. Oh, sixteen. You know what I'm saying, yeah, me and my brother them, yeah. Wow, them sixteen out there was already turning up like that, though. Yeah, we was out there. Doing our thing, got down six, you hear me? Mm-hmm. That's where that six coach shit came from. We was in love with Soldier Slim. For real. Okay. New yeah. Orleans had us fucked up, nigga. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I swear. Okay, yeah. And we was thugging, bro, you feel me? And we was young. And we had done dropped out of school and shit. You feel me? And I had done wrote a song about, like, how it first started. Okay, then. Like when I first used to hustle mm-hmm. to how I elevated. Yeah. Let a nigga know where I was from and who I knew. You remember how you first started? And by my mom and shit. You remember, <laughs> you, you remember how you first started, though? Hell yeah. Well, you, you, you ever hustled that weed, though? Or it was straight that? Uh. Quit playing, man. Quit, my dog said, Stop playing with me, dog. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Straight lays game. What you mean? Quit playing. No, man. We, we birth for. <clears throat> my fault. Mm-hmm. I'm tongue twisted. I'm twisted in this bitch. Nah, I don't good. Know we vibe. We got I'm motherfucking, saying. motherfucking cool uh-huh. cake. Motherfucker, turn it down. Okay then, say no more. She just ripped it, motherfucker. <laughs> what about hey. that, what about that murder though? That murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that thing. Okay then. What, what you That's what, that one. Who dropped the beat I'm, on that thing? I don't even know, nigga. Okay then, we gonna keep it. We gonna keep it moving. I'm fucked up right now. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. You on that? <laughs> no. You on that Hennessy spray? I already know. What about that? Hold, <laughs> what about that? Hold up, though. Hold up. Yeah, that hold up. Mm-hmm. That's that one. Uh, how that hook? I going? was. It was. It was laid back. You feel me? How the hook go? That bitch like. Hold up. Mm-hmm. Cause I came in this place leaning hard, paying sag, and dropped the pistol off my waist. Hold up. Hold up. Uh-huh. Drinking rim out the bottle side with diesel in my bike. Word mangling with the models. Hold up. Hold hey. up. I'm a motherfucking fool in the streets. And your bitch in the motherfucking booth. Hold up. Okay, right. then. Put some nigga catch up. Hold up. Hey. Right. Put some nigga catch up. Hey. Okay, <laughs> Hey, you got to hear it, though. Ooh, bitch, I'm that ain't going to do you no this, justice. Listen. This must be a throw bike. I'm half first regardless. Bitch, that's old bars right there, boy. Mm-hmm. I'm old bars right there, boy. God damn, we... Hey, listen. I'm half first For anybody bars. who's a real Cool K fan, my nigga, you know that every motherfucking on, project man. that I ever dropped, on every project that I ever dropped, I got a song called Head First Regardless. Damn. On every one of them. On my mama. So how you came up going in like that? Tell you the truth, bro, I was... When I you was saw, like, started, I'm gonna start doing it like that, man. I'm gonna have to get my motherfucking one every time. What I was like it? vibing in a hotel one night, like in and out that bitch. Mm-hmm. And I was rolling, bro. I couldn't go to sleep, and I sat there and I read and I read and I wrote that song mm-hmm. on my song. mom. I remember that. Okay, then now you got me. Let me know how important them jiggles was in the nigga life, though. Man, listen. Mm-hmm. So bro, jigger talk. I was so motherfucking ignorant when you I was a jitterbug. Talk? I thought. Okay, okay. Hey, I gotta make sure we can jig a talk. Hey, listen. Yeah. I was motherfucking. Boy, I was so motherfucking thorough when I was a jig. Boy, I thought we were going to be able to do that shit forever. Okay, then. You mm-hmm. heard me? Ooh. I thought like we're not here forever. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't know about them jiggers, though. So you be chilling now? I don't fuck with nothing no more. I smoke. Okay, I then. Drink. Okay, I drink. Then. I ain't going to lie. We about to and take I it smoke. down. <laughs> We about to take it there. Then what happened with that concrete jungle, though? How we were coming with that thing? Shit. That concrete jungle. Mm-hmm. Good God. Okay, then. You know that, um... That's a T. Grizzly B, ain't it? 
That one that Kodak and um Jack Boy did. Jumped on, um, from, okay. Oh, you came on that bitch. I already know you. St- how you came on that? Oh bitch? my goodness. <laughs> I already know you came on that bit. What made you jump on that bit? What you think about that? Let me throw that shit grizzly on that. That one got my little nigga Flood Diggity on it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did that one. We actually did that one when we came on. You feel me? We ain't write that one in the joint. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But I don't see nobody. What we talking about? Yeah, that's me and my brother. My brother Booby Lou. Shout out to my brother Lou. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How y'all yeah. came about that bit? What you feel me? Y'all like y'all gotta make something happen. Yeah, man, that's it though. Mm, my thought say fuck love. God damn, cut number ten screaming fuck love. Yeah. What we, what we what was going real. on? Hey, you know what? That's one of my. Bro, you know what? I'm gonna keep it real. That, that's the one that that I got like the most com- compliments about. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of people liked it, that one. What they talking about? What, what, if they uh, compliment me on the mixtape, they always say something about fuck love. Okay, then. Because it was a true story about about my ex bitch or whatever, you feel me? What happened? You know, we know what happened. No, nah, I was in the chain gang, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, I went away, you feel me? And the, and the bitch stopped fucking with me. And, oh. And, yeah, when the final dude do some shit. But I wasn't really mad about it, but, bitch, I was just like, bitch, I could have... Did this with anybody, bitch. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I chose your pussy ass, so bitch, fuck that shit. That's what I was. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Okay, then. Well, I got a wife, bitch. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm Gucci. Okay, then. What, what Straight about, like that. Well, facts. What about homie? Oh, man, that's for all my niggas, you heard me? That's for all my niggas from out the way, you feel me? I had done got on the first verse, you feel me, and I was stressing my issue, you feel me, like as if me and you were my nigga, mm-hmm. woo vibing, and we on that level, whoop the woo. Okay, then. And then on the second verse, you feel me, I had done shot it out of all my niggas that's dead. Who, who, who was the couple guys you shot it out? Shit, bro. Everybody, bro. It's, I probably said over 20 something names, dog. My little niggas from the hood. Ah, right, damn it, dog. People don't know. In that, that one verse, bro. That's crazy. That much niggas done gone. Mm-hmm. I got a whole bunch of them on my bike, homie. Damn it, dog. Something special. Something special. That's what's hell now. Mm-hmm. That's the one I did for my lady, dog. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Let me know what's something special about that. She's something lady. special. What, what, what's that one you thing special me? about her you love? <laughs> Say what that? What one thing special about the old lady? Shit, what you mean? One thing special. No, I'm just, no, I'm talking about just, you know, I'm just going off the thing. Oh, I mean, okay, listen. She mine off rip. Okay. That make a special off top. Okay, then. Yeah. It ain't gonna be no other way in the way. You know, the Lord made her for me. Facts. It ain't gonna be no other way. And that's sack. She know that. <laughs> and that's sack, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's special. Mm-hmm. That's real special. <laughs> okay, that boy done gave her that super look. <laughs> what about that sack, though, dog? Okay. That's the one. Okay, then. You remember when you was asking me earlier about that, um, that, um, that white girl got my arms strong? I'm with the word. The okay. Listen, the second verse on that sack, I had done... Hold a pot and the left and the whip and the whip my right hand. hand. Cold water, swole circuit, and the scale beat my head. Right Baking soda in the tattoo. Show you how to flesh, dude. Ooh. Sweating on the floor. Ooh. Filling up the crazy tube. B- big slabs for the apples. They cover me back because the gator Ooh. a stack for the twin. Hate them trying to get me some paper. Hey, I might say you some lace, bro. Just so you can double yeah, back. Bro. Call the work man for the foe when he going to double yeah, that clientele where you hustling. Yeah. Tramp on the hell and Latin. I'm serving like the CBA. Big muscle, both Those flat. Banks. Eyes ready in the coattails. I got eight balls on the bike seat. And I ain't talking pool shit. Just check a nigga trap sheet. Mm-hmm. Downtown with a trap beat. Bread till I'm dead. And I caught blues and beans before I fled from, from the, the fed. Ooh. I'm addicted to getting cared by all that aspects. Sense. Now, dog, Been I'm bad. Three, ooh, I ain't relaxed yet. <laughs> Damn it, dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> but this, this, this throwback shit sound like new shit, though, dog. Mm-hmm. That was way back then. I know, but why that shit sound like new shit, though, dog? You see what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> motherfucking cool. No, see, they lit over there, man. Motherfucking cool cake in the motherfucking bed, dog. <laughs> I'm saying, dog, you shot, though. How the shit is timeless. Or you, but you say you don't be on YouTube checking, though. When was the last time you did a show, though, dog? Shit. What, about two weeks ago? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I got a show tomorrow. No, okay then. In Four Pills. My dog working hard. Yeah, I got a show tomorrow. In Four Pills. We going out there to show up, man. Gas house, man. We in this bitch. The house arrest on the way, my nigga. You heard me? How you feel? I know they've been waiting for me. Everywhere I go, everybody everybody always keep asking me, like, bro, when you going to drop that new shit? I just had some complications, you feel me, with the mm. recording shit, but we getting everything straight, you feel me, and everything. Okay, I'm then. I'm be writing the bitch chest ASAP, bro. That's on my mom. Okay, then. Okay, then. God damn. Straight so. up. And what else should they be looking for, though? Shit. We stay working, you feel me? We got Tabo, Hollywood Hatch, you feel me, Mark City Moot, you feel me, Gas House Music, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 21 Reese, my nigga, you heard me? Yeah. And they want to know, We got some dog, shit. They want my bad for cutting y'all. They want to know you can't tell us any no throwback stories, no nothing. Because, you know, it was going on. Man. We just, we just watch y'all on them DVDs, <laughs> you feel me, videos and shit. We want to know son, dog. Hey, man. This one <laughs> legendary shit. You know, it's throwback now. It ain't got to be crazy. It just got to be just something that, you know, at them shows, hanging night. Well, you know what? I do got a story. Okay, then. Man, listen. We was twisted one night, my nigga. I was with Spro. It was me, Spro, Van Damme. I was with my nigga Chaos, 10 Pound. Smooth was out there that night, but we wasn't all together. We shot to Spanky's downtown, my nigga, off Clematis, right by the tracks. Mm Mm-hmm. I had a show that night. My nigga 10 pound God um God bless the dead. Rest in peace, you feel me? R. P. Um we went out we went out to Spankies. And we was supposed to and we were supposed to perform. And we get out there, my nigga, you feel me? We booting up in the club and shit, you feel me? And Spankies ain't had no roof, you know what I'm saying? So it started drizzling a little bit and people started scattering and shit. Damn, boy. Now you good. Turn down. This is your <laughs> time. We're going to vibe. Hey, so listen. So it started raining a little bit? It started raining a little bit. Mm-hmm. People started scattering. You feel me? So we get into a confrontation with these little niggas or whatever, you feel me? Back the little niggas up office and shit, you feel me? It, it was probably some some of them Haitian niggas from, from Lake Worth or some shit. That's exactly what it was. But, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Wasn't no pressure. Mm-hmm. Everybody was just scattering. Niggas was bumping on each other and shit. You know how that go. We shoot each other away. They call us up on stage, my nigga. <laughs> no, no. They ain't call us up on stage yet. We shoot back to the back wall, you feel me? Some other shit had done popped off or whatever, you feel me? I run out there, my nigga. Get into a get into a little scuffle with a nigga. As soon as I swing on a nigga, you feel me? They get me down on the ground. I had probably like four or five niggas on top of me. They was stopping me and the shit. My brother knew it was me. He had not seen me, my nigga. I had my boots. I had some Timberlands. Them bitches were like orange and black, you mm-hmm. feel me? <laughs> My brother said he knew it was me because of the shoes I had on, you heard me? They come over there and get me off, get, get the niggas off me or whatever. Woo, woo. You feel me? I'm steady trying to boot up, you feel me? I'm talking loud and acting all stupid. I'm dumb. Mm-hmm. I'm on that gin at the time. Yeah, we gin yeah, yeah, Now, we were drinking gin. Mm-hmm. Man, listen, we get on stage, do the little show. They called us up right after the little fight. We get on stage, my nigga, do the little shit. Some shit had done popped off, my nigga, while I'm on stage and everything, bro. I ain't, We yeah. end up jumping off the stage and everything, swinging on some niggas. When we get outside, bro, 
I go to fade a nigga at the front door dirt. <laughs> and the nigga hit me from behind, bro. And knocked me the fuck out, homie. Damn. I swear on my mama, dog. Van Damme dropped me to the car, bro. I swear to God, if my nigga watching this right now, he know exactly what I'm talking about. Van Damme dropped me to the car, bro. They woke me up. Nigga, when I got up, nigga, all I heard, that nigga say, Kate, just go home, bro. Damn. <laughs> just go home, Kate. <laughs> Kate, just go home, bro. That's the same, um, that's the same night my nigga, um, Big Rob got shot. Yeah. Yeah, Big Rob got shot right in front of the club. <laughs> oh my mama, dog! I swear. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so you think that's what made the music so real to you? Like, like so much shit was going on. Man, nah, that ain't had nothing to do with nothing. That was just a casual little story. That was some true shit, though. It was a funny story. Them niggas was no, getting not on my that ass part. that not, night. Not just that part. But, but I mean, like you know, like you say, just raising the streets. You feel me? That's why you think the music was. Your music more real and people can relate to what you I mean, think. that's I mean that's that's what my shit be anyway. Like when I write, bro, I don't, I don't really write. I don't really write for nobody. Mm -hmm. Niggas feel that shit cause it's real. Okay then. You feel me? I don't always try to imitate nobody or come like another nigga or or or, or get on a nigga surfboard, no none of that. I, I just do me. Okay, when I man. write my music, bro, I do my thing. Yeah. My shit come out the way I, I used to listen to a lot of old school rappers way back in the G when I was a jitterbug, bro. I was born in 85, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I remember that shit way back in the, I'm talking about, I, I remember the 90s from 1990 and beyond, you heard me? Okay, then. Yeah. And, and how it feel, though, when you go do shows and some I'm your fans still want to hear some of that old shit, though? Man, tell you the truth, I got into it with a nigga. <laughs> Cause he tried to make me perform some old shit, man. You don't like to perform the old shit? No, nah, it wasn't that. I had my show this made already, mm -hmm. and this nigga was just trying to do his own thing mm -hmm. and just like surprise me with some of my music mm -hmm. and tell me just chill, like you gon you gon like it. I got something for you. Like no, nah, nigga, you got me fucked up. It's going like no, nah, we ain't doing that. You're. Mm -hmm. I'm a real gangster, bro. I don't be rocking with niggas like that. No way, you hear me? Okay, then. Okay, then, my dog. And for the people that want to follow you, let them know how can they follow you, my dog. Shit, I'm cool that a cake on Instagram, you hear me? Shit. That's it, goddamn. I ain't finna say my favorite. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, and, and they want to know, too, what was your relationship with, um... Marino? Yeah, just follow me. Cool that a cake on Instagram. That's it. Oh, um... Gas House Music mm -hmm. on Facebook. What Kelvin Black on Facebook or Gas House Music on um, Instagram? Yeah, that's how you see me. And what was your relationship with Ray? Was it Ray Lo, Ray Lo? Ray Lo, that's Ray my dog. Yeah, what was your relationship? You feel me? Hey man, listen. I'm gonna tell y'all about Ray Lo, man. Okay then, break it down. We knows it. Boy, hey, straight like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Boy, bitch, if you ain't never met a hustler in your whole life, my nigga. Bitch, that Cracker Raylo ain't the one, you heard me? Mm -hmm. That's my motherfucking dog. Okay, Listen, Raylo made me, Raylo made me famous, bro, when I first started to do my own thing. Because I was always tied into a label, mm -hmm. you feel me? I done had all that money come in and all that shit, like that shit. And break it down, how he made you famous for the people that don't know. Bro, listen, Raylo was the only one giving me a chance, bro. Like shit, I remember getting played on X1023 shit when I was with headquarters and Swabby Smooth and shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? We had some things going on with them, playing our music. Okay then. You know what I'm saying? And what it was about him, how and he got connected so early like that, though, with just entertainment game, though. Who that? Raylo. Shit, Raylo. Raylo, a legend in Palm Beach, man. I, nigga, we know that. I'm trying to figure out how you got in with the, you know, how you got in with everybody like that and just started from the parties to the radios and all that there, you feel me? Bro, I mean, you know, Raylo, Raylo dibbing dabbing in the streets too, you feel me? He out there. 
people know him. He got like, embraced because you know if you got embraced. Yeah, you don't man. you don't just see him at the spot. Raylo be out there. Raylo used to come and holler at us on six, bro. Mm -hmm. He used to come and holler at us on six, dog. You feel me? And he was like, Kate, man, listen, we want to do this thing, man. We want to get y'all bigger. Listen, man, let's get this shit on camera, bro. Mm -hmm. Bro, let's let's do some shows. You know we got the club. This you feel me? Whoop the whoop. We got the tunnel popping off. Dum dum dum. Mm -hmm. We got the beach club going up. Yeah, y'all boys. Bring the cameraman to me. Y'all get some footage, man, while mm -hmm. we Turn in the up. whole club up. Make that shit look good. Okay, Put that shit man. on video. Facts. Listen, don't worry about it. We got y'all. We going out of town, DJ in here. We playing y'all music. Mm -hmm. They got us in heavy rotation in our city. And what they was doing, that was getting them booked everywhere, too, because that most DJs was out there like that, too, for them to even be playing y'all song. What the hell? What? I mean, Raylo got, Ray Lo got his connections, you feel <coughs> me? He, he be getting booked. Still, still to this day, man, that man be hitting the city, man. Raylo mm. popping. He in Tampa doing shit, and he yeah, well, okay, man. man. <laughs> you, have a, you have a link up and think about it. Shit, I ain't never. I ain't never thought about doing nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I fuck with a bit, but I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. You feel me? I'm doing me. Okay, then. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that other shit did. Okay then, let them know. Yeah. Like you said we at Fort Pierce. This when is this weekend? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, God yeah. damn it! This is your first time in Fort Pierce. You done been there before. You been there yeah, already. Yeah, man. Quit couple playing. Times. I'm a flower, nigga. Man, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just capping. Yeah, dog. you know I'm playing. a big dog. <laughs> I ain't on. no little nigga, man. man I'm, come on, since nigga. wait. Come yeah, on. We, hey. <laughs> been watching, boy. Don't don't do don't do me like that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> how, how you feel hey, though, knowing, like, even though you saying that, but how you feel knowing you is a big dog in this shit though? Man, niggas know me. Mm -hmm. Niggas know me. I, I don't, bro. I don't been out there for real. You feel me? When I was younger, you feel me? Bro, listen. I'm gonna tell you some real nigga shit, bro. Okay, then. I was always like one of the happy type people. You feel mm -hmm. me? If you don't notice, I smile a lot. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's the type of nigga I am. Okay, then. You feel me? You just can't get my timing wrong. I ain't with the fuck shit. You okay, feel then. me? I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. Way early in the morning. Like, okay, then. Yeah, like I be on that. So niggas knew that, bro. My attitude showed that. I'm passive aggressive, bro. Like on some natural shit. Okay, then. You feel me? And they wanted to know, but too, I'm though. I'm older now. I know how to control myself. Sometimes. And they wanted to know too, my dog. Back then, you feel me? The fan wanted to know what did you do to get bigger? You'd be slim or throwback. Yeah, bitch, I went to prison. <laughs> the prison did that. The prison really get you thick like that, bro. Hell, what I did in that motherfucker did, boy. I was in that motherfucker mm -hmm. knocking off a thousand push-ups every night, okay, nigga, yeah. hitting the wreck yard. Me and Red, man, I had a bunch. I had like seven niggas, nigga, riding with me, nigga. Okay, then. I went in that bitch and beasted up. I went in up like 157 pounds, mm -hmm. nigga. I came home 213. Oh. I beast up for real. Okay, then. Like 8% body fat. Like mm -hmm. stupid. Six pack and everything. <laughs> Turning now. Okay, then. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. I ain't. Shit, but that was back then, though. I ain't working out like that right now, but I still got it. No, you already know. And what, yep. and what you do to keep looking young? What you drinking that milk? Mm-mm. What is that? Why you still looking young, though, dog? Liquor. That's that liquor? Liquor. I'm about to keep on drinking that, bitch. I'm, I'm about to fill this bitch up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to keep it real, bro. I stopped eating pork, bro. Okay, then. You feel me? Me and my lady, we, we on some other shit. I'm trying to get things right, bro. Nice, you feel nice. me? Mm -hmm. We focusing, bro, my nigga, with this gas house music shit. We trying to move forward, bro. You feel me? And we got some shit popping off, you feel me? We trying to kick the motherfucking door in because they ain't opening it. You know nice. what I'm talking about? And we've been making some shit shake. We always working, bro. You feel me? So some going to shake, my nigga. You heard me? And what about that? And, and, and what you mean by graveyard music, though, dog? Graveyard music, you hear me? Mm -hmm. It's that murder, murder, kill shit. Mm -hmm. That real shit. Okay, then. You, boy, you got me about to play some of this shit for you, man. Okay, then. Yeah. For mm -hmm. real, homie. I'm telling you. Number five, that murder. Mm -hmm. That's that one. So that's the one they pushing right there? No, nah, they ain't. I mean... That's the one you feel. That's the one you feeling right there. 
I mean, that's that one for me. That's that's that cool cake from like mm-hmm. from bike in the G. You feel me? Okay, then. You know, I get on that. I get on that shit for real. You know, mm-hmm. a nigga. Everybody know me from like being real, real crunk on the trike, my nigga. You hear me? Well, what you say Talk to that people shit. that say you like kind of invented drill music though? Invented what music? Drill music. Drill music? Yeah, I don't know if you know about it. Don't tell me Kool K been ducked though. You don't know what drill music is. What drill? Yeah, like drill, like straight talking that savage shit. From mm. Florida. One of the first artists in Florida to talk that drill music. Boy. Hell yeah. I definitely talk. I talk a lot of shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I talk mm-hmm. slick. I make a bitch wanna slap me in my mouth. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> yeah. I talk shit. Cause a lot of people doing that now, but I'm like, you been on that shit. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. hell yeah. Where that weed at? We right here, baby. Roll them up. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know about drill music, but shit, if that's what they calling it, but. We about to roll this one. It's the super guy. Yeah, let's put the rest of this on. The oh, okay, yeah, put your cracker bump. Yeah, man, we got motherfucking cool K in the motherfucking building. Hell yeah, we in this bitch. Okay then. But shit, you know where I'm from, niggas be talking savage anyway. And what it is you about You should have that. bitch mama talk to him. And what it is about Palm Beach, though, dog? I noticed they was also on that, that savage shit, dog. So, what it is about Palm Beach? I noticed they was on that savage music, though, that gangster shit, though. I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. Like, around 05, 06, you feel me, Palm Beach? That's when we had, like, the little murder cap and shit, remember? Mm-hmm. Anyway. So, like, for the people that don't know, let's let's take it on back, dog. What year that was? It was like oh five, oh six. That Palm Beach was hitting it like that for real, like that, though, dog. On everything, dog. That shit was crazy. And it was off the channel. Why people still nobody was ain't scared to come out? Like, go out. And people still was t- going out, hanging out. Yeah, niggas was still in the streets, bro. You feel me? Ain't nothing, bro. Like back in the G, man. When the tunnel and all that shit was popping all year, and all them niggas from around that way was beefing, you feel me? Them niggas from like downtown and Revere was going through it and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, downtown niggas was going through it with a lot of downtown niggas, you know what I'm talking about? So, that shit crazy. And beefing with niggas from your own section and shit, you know what I'm saying? And then that shit was just a little too close to home, you feel me? That shit went the way it went, but, man. It ain't but a few niggas love. And what you say to the people that say y'all like, y'all started that real nigga music, though. Like, y'all was talking that shit and really living that shit, though. Yeah, because we was out there, you feel me? So a nigga was talking jazzy. Nigga was talking fly. We used to get on the motherfucking fire-ass beats, get us some motherfucking beans and some liquor, come up with an old groovy-ass hook. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Talk that shit on them verses, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> come up with some shit. The whole clique used to be involved at the time, you know what I'm saying? We used to all, like... Amp each other up on each other versus and shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then. Yeah, that shit was like that. For real. God damn. For real, bro. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. For real. What about them shows back there? Did y'all ever even get the infinite, like, do shows? Or it was supposed to be like some fight? Even Suave say sometimes he can't even get the perform fights before he even get on stage. Man, listen. You know I seen the one... You and Smooth did, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, trust me. I was there at every one of them. <laughs> Look, bro. I got headquarters on my hand, homie. Okay, then. On, 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 on your side of the story, how it was, though, like that night, though, he said when... Was that the skating ring? Was it, what was it? Yeah, that, that's when I was younger, man. Mm-hmm. We was jits then. You know what I'm saying? I remember that shit. So you was not even ripping them. All them motherfuckers. Man, yeah. all them yeah. all them got them kids had them rush up there and they start fighting and all this shit. And then they spread all them little punk ass rumors talking about. So that shit was really I'm serious just, about he got beat up. Hell no, nah, nigga ain't getting no No, beat I know up. we know he ain't get beat up. I'm talking about the rumor. Yeah, it was a it was a rumor going around talking about he had got beat up and all that shit. That shit was flaw as fuck. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody get beat up, bro. Nah, nah he said that, though. Nah, ain't nobody get beat up. Well, like, well, why, why, why was it the rule? Like, what, why, why it, it went viral without viral? Like you said, well, ain't no viral that time. Like, it went viral like that? Nah, it was just so many people out there, bro. That shit was crazy. 
if you would have saw how many people was out there, you'll feel where I'm coming from. Mm -mm -mm. That shit was stupid thick, bro. It was a whole bunch of jits, but we was young at the time too. That's when he had that um. Hold on, pussy nigga, you don't know me. That's when that hat came out, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And we had done went up there and did the little show. And some kids had done rushed them up. Because they ain't had no stage, you know. They had us, like, performing in the middle of the motherfucking skate ring. Mm -hmm. And all the kids had done ran up. And then everybody just started fighting, bro. Like, the whole club just, like, it was a riot, motherfucker. Like crazy, though. Yeah, man. Mm -mm -mm. That shit was green in the motherfucker, though. You know, we was jits. What was that shit? Fun memories, though? Man, that shit was square as fuck, man. You know, we from downtown, man. Mm -hmm. We used to niggas getting killed and shit, man. You can't be jumping around and playing with us like that. We be ready to pop off on some dumb shit. We was up there scrapping and all shit. All kind of shit, probably. You feel me? Damn it. Like on my mama, nigga. My brother always had gun license. You feel me? We used to have to fly every time we went to a show. Nigga couldn't play with us. Never. Damn For it. real. That shit was that serious up there like that. Yeah. I'm talking about one time. Was, I thought y'all making more noise than Bride and Day kind of. Bro, I had, uh, had them people call me from Interscope. Interscope. Yes, Lord. Send me label. a plane ticket and everything. Interscope. What they were talking about? Shit, they wanted to, they wanted me to come to Santa Monica, California. Damn. What's they wanted me to talk. They were talking about a little deal or whatever. They wanted me to come up there and see him. What song they were fucking with? It was a dude I was talking to. I hadn't been talking to him. You feel me for like over a month. You feel me? Damn. What song they were fucking with though? They was fucking with the whole movement. Tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, were they trying to get you out of the package deal? Nah, they really, they ain't, that's what, that's what the thing was. They wanted to just see me. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you were lit, lit. Now, at that time, what, 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 what the fuck, what, what you had out at that time? What couple of videos you had out when music was out? Hmm. When they were reaching out? I had none just, shit, tell you the truth. Me and my brother them was um doing a little thing with the Flatline Mafia shit. And then some complications had done happened with my big brother, you feel me, Shell Shop. And he had done when he did his own thing, that downtown gorilla shit. You feel me? And um it seemed like it seemed like I was the only nigga that wanted to do something after that. They no then nobody really wanna rap no more, you feel me? Why was that that wasn't nobody wanna was, rap no more? We was all together, but no, no. We was all together but after that, you feel me, I had done caught the little bit and mm -hmm. went away. But when I went away, you feel me, they was dipping and dabbing and fucking with the music and shit. Like, my brother even had his own studio and all that shit. But I don't think, I think they were just making music. They weren't really releasing nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So they were talking about, so did you, did you go meet up with them? Nah, like... When I came home from prison, bro, that shit was dead. Oh, wow. that shit was dead. They ain't had a studio no more. You feel me? God damn, it was going down back then, dog. I'm so, ain't, ain't, ain't no more. One more you could share with us, though. Like, ain't no fro, like no other. You and fro memories. Man, no, I can't. I mean, besides him being the old goof ass clown ass nigga, man. Mm -hmm. But they said he was man, not acting. Man, listen. They said he was not, even though the camera was on, he was not acting. Hell no. Bro, listen. If you know Spro, you know, my nigga. You feel me? Bro wasn't on no acting shit. He wasn't never flexing. That camera ain't mean nothing to little bro. Spro was a real one. Mm -hmm. Did he wanted to be a rapper at first. That they was don't make that, niggas like that no more. Was he? A, when, 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 did he wanted to be a rapper at first, or just something that just ended up happening, like uh, the music. I know he started buzzing up in the music too. I mean, 
Bro was dipping and dabbing with the music and shit with um Double E. Mm-hmm. Um, rest in peace, cook him up. You feel me? He was fucking with the boy for a second. That's who he was with when he when he um when he passed. Did you, did you, uh, they wanted to know too. Did you go to his funeral? Hell yeah! How big it was. Let us know. Quit playing, man. That's what they want to know. Boy, spell funeral. Listen, I'm glad you asked that. Mm-hmm. Now I can say this, man. When I went to my dog funeral, dog, I'm talking about I had females and all kind of chicos and niggas coming up to me talking about bro. I'm from Gainesville. Damn. Bro, we from Tampa. Bro, f- bro, people was coming from all over around this bitch. Came to spoke funeral, bro. And you know we threw that big old gathering at my we threw a big gathering at the Spro funeral at my mama house. You feel me? And blocked like two th- bro, right down 43rd and Greenwood, like blocked the whole little shit out, homie. On God, bro. You couldn't even, you couldn't even, listen, if you ain't get there early, you couldn't even walk in the church, you hear me? You couldn't even walk in there. Everybody outside. Cars lined up down the street, way down yonder, like, for real. That man funeral was thick as hell, dog. What was it about him that had impact so big like that? I don't know, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's like. He got a Tupac type of soul. Mm-hmm. You heard me? Yeah, man. That's my nigga, man. That's my brother, bro, for real. Mm-hmm. My mama got that nigga name tattooed on her. <laughs> Rest in peace, bro, for real. Rest in peace, my nigga Spo, for real. I got my nigga on my bike, you heard me? While you was blowing up doing the music thing, did you notice that he was buzzing up too, though? Or you was too busy in your own... Nah, them boys was doing their own thing. I had to start doing my thing and shit was looking good on my end because way before this social media shit, I was getting money on the music shit. I'm talking about we we doing shows and getting bands like we. Man. <laughs> like that shit was crazy, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But we was just Dedicated to the streets, bro. That's what it was. So, like, we did this music shit, my nigga, trying to luck up on the little deal because we know we can make some shit shake, you feel me? But we ain't really give it our all like we knew we could. Mm-hmm. But we still, you know what I'm talking about? Like I said, I used to drop shit, nigga, and just release it and after that, nigga, the streets used to pu- push it for me. That's crazy, That too. shit did, like, self-promotion on my end, you heard me? Like... Nigga, when I dropped Graveyard Music, I was on house arrest, homie. Mm-mm. How you felt, though, dog? Like, you feel like you said you just dropped music, you ain't got to promote that bitch. That bitch just... Shit, bro. The streets speak for me, you feel me? They the ones who do it for me. Mm-mm-mm. I just check my little PayPal every now and then. It be a check on there. I be like, man, look at this shit. My first check one night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit. It wasn't nothing like, I mean, but you know. This, we out here. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Okay, then. I wasn't getting recognized at first because I wasn't doing nothing. I just came home and I was bullshitting mm-hmm. around trying to find myself. As soon as I started making that music, bro, it's like people was aping for it. Huh? Mm-hmm. They was wondering what they was, where it was, or whatever. Fact. They still be asking me to this day. Even even to this day, I be ask, I be seeing people. They be act, they be acting like I just came home. Mm-hmm. And I've been home for like over five years now. Right, dang. What it is? They just when you go on YouTube, they see different videos of your hair, no hair, long hair. Yeah, cause they ain't, yeah, some people don't know who I am no more. Why you say that? Cause, Look the same. 
You know, my first time seeing you. I'm talking off YouTube. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Shit. That's why they be acting like, damn, bro. Welcome home. Man, please. Man, what you said to the people that say, you feel me, you know, when you, you know, when you was rapping, you had, you had that, a funny voice. Bro, you know what? A lot of people used to tell me back then, when I was a lot younger, they told me I sounded like Boosie a little bit. Mm-hmm. Then the nigga, then the niggas wanted to tell me I would sound like mystical. <laughs> you sound like mystical? No, I don't sound like nothing. No, 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 no. But I like Boosie and mystical. <coughs> yeah, but but nigga, I sound style, like me. Yeah, yeah, your own style. Bro. Yeah, man, I got you my own style. shit going on, man. Quit mm-hmm. playing. Everybody knows what's happening with me, man. For real, I do this shit. Facts. And letting people know what they could be looking for, though. I don't want to keep you here too long. Shit. Man, look at... Um, you could be looking forward to that motherfucking high arrest mixtape coming soon. Anything we pumping up out of gas eyes pretty much, goddamn me. Um, shit. You can look me up on Instagram at Cool Dedicate. Okay then. Um, Gas House Music on the ground. Any shout out yeah. before we get out of here, though? Shit. Shout outs, you say? Hmm? You say shout out? Any shout outs, yeah. Nah, I ain't shot nobody. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm on one. <laughs> okay, we talk about shout out. Okay, shout out to Gas House Music, motherfucker. Really <laughs> we out you, goddamn me. Mm-hmm. How long you and Gas House? Shout out. Uh, How long y'all been hooked up? How long you and Gas House Music been doing y'all thing? Shit, man. I don't know. I've been knowing my dog since I was like. Yay high, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, we just linked up, my nigga. What you say? About two? About two? Okay, then. About two years now? Like, mm-hmm. shit. I was on house arrest. I just got off house arrest probably like some months back, but yeah. Okay, then. So now we vibe. So, so we, we, we focus straight music mode right now. Hell yeah. We working, too. Okay, then. We working, my nigga. You feel me? Everything up and up. Shout out to my nigga Creek D. Shot the Hollywood hatch. Table nice money, you heard me? Mark City Moot. Yeah. Okay then, man. Gas out. Okay then. And y'all know Smooth what was out. <laughs> and y'all know what it is, motherfucking Tippy Toe Podcast. And let me know one more time who my guest was. Cool cake, nigga. Cool daddy cake. Alright. Alright. There it is. They were waiting for that one. Y'all waiting. <laughs> we had to bring it. Motherfucking the legendary. Legend shit. Ooh, Florida God. shit. What you mean? <laughs> this is what we does, Tippy Toe. Podcast to next time. We appreciate that boy for coming through. What you mean? All right. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs>